Today we're making beef rib jalapeno poppers. Welcome back, it's Mike C from HLM BBQ. This is a twist on the Texas Twinkie. In my opinion, these are easier to make and the beef rib steps up the richness and flavor. Plus we only use half a jalapeno, so you multiply that by two and carry the three, then you get twice the amount of these spicy bacon beef poppers. Grab two eight ounce packages of cream cheese and let them come to room temp. Next, grab 12 to 20 jalapenos, depending on their size. Just remember that you're cutting them in half, so multiply that by two, and that's how many poppers you're going to get. Be careful if you're not using gloves. The exposed flesh, seeds, and ribs of the peppers contain capsaicin. This is what tricks your brain into thinking your tongue is on fire. We are removing the seeds and ribs with a spoon. If you touch them with your bare hands, and then let's say you go to the bathroom, you're in for a spicy adventure. So either wear gloves, or if you touch them with your bare hands, lather them in vegetable oil or aloe vera. Set them aside and get the cream cheese and add three tablespoons of back rub all-purpose seasoning or your favorite barbecue seasoning. Then add one to two cups of chopped beef rib or brisket. Click the link above and we'll teach you how to make smoked beef ribs the easiest way possible. Combine these ingredients well, and this is what we're packing into our halved jalapenos. Now, grab the jalapenos and stuff them with the cream cheese mixture. We're using a spatula because it's flexible and fills in all the corners of the jalapeno cavity. Once you've filled the jalapenos, grab two pounds of bacon. I think we use cherry smoked, but it doesn't really matter. This is the most complicated part, wrapping the bacon around the jalapeno without it slipping and sliding all over the place. Start by wrapping the bacon at the very top of the jalapeno, using the stem as an anchor. Then stretch the bacon taut around the jalapeno. You could simply get cooking pins and pin the bacon to the jalapeno, but we aren't that fancy yet, and apparently we like to struggle. Thanks for coming back to our channel. If this is your first time, then thank you for showing up. If you like what you see, then please tell us by liking this video and dropping a comment below. We make videos for home cooks from beginner to advanced with tasty recipes that will impress you and your friends Spencer and Janelle's parents. Now finish wrapping these jalapenos tight like a big hug from great grandpa Jack. Also, I want to mention that you can get as creative as you want with the cream cheese stuffing. You could add shredded cheese, green onion, or crumbled sausage, anything that you think is going to take the flavor to the next level, which we're going to do right now. Season the bacon with more back rub. It's very low in sodium, so you don't need to worry about a salt bomb, but be careful if you use other seasonings as they may be higher than you think in salt. Now you could skip this step and they'll still turn out amazing. Now that we've prepared the poppers, get your smoker set to 275 degrees Fahrenheit and slide these poppers on. We're smoking on our friend Spencer's incredible Pits and Spits pellet smoker, and we're gonna serve them as an appetizer next to pork belly burn ins and pork belly tacos which by the way are the top five best tacos I've ever had, so thank you Spencer and Janelle. Now these jalapeno poppers, you can eat them as a meal on their own, which we've done plenty of times, but they also make the perfect appetizer all year round. Check them out. These smoked in about three hours, and during this time, something magical happened. The bacon fat has rendered into the cream cheese, mixing with the rich, juicy beef rib, which has melted the seasoning, making one of the most flavor-packed, crowd-pleasing snacks of all time. Some of the jalapenos still have a few seeds in them, so they have a little heat, but the texture and flavors are perfectly balanced. They have a kiss of smoke and mild heat that will blast your taste buds into the next counting. Now the only thing hotter than these beefed up jalapeno poppers is watching Liz eat one. They are ridiculously good. Now if you liked what you saw today, please subscribe to our channel. We have flavor bomb videos like this dropping every two weeks. We hope you enjoyed today's recipe and want you to go out and try it. Thanks for showing up. Now get out and barbecue.